Hello stars, welcome to a new video. About a year ago I presented two methods for making a custom speedometer for my bike. One was the analog method which was not good at all. The other was using a GPS module. Using the GPS module was much better but my connection to the satellite was weak and sometimes disconnected. Recently I made a video to measure the vertical speed of an airplane with a TFT LCD. The sensor used in that project was an MPU 6050. So can we get the speed by measuring the acceleration of the x-axis of the bike? Join me to find out. I used the circuit diagram from the vertical accelerometer project, but instead of the z-axis acceleration, I used the x-axis acceleration. So, as you can see, the instantaneous acceleration information is visible on the diagram. But this is just an accelerometer and the number obtained is not a speed parameter. I wrote a program with the help of physics relations that can be used to obtain speed by integrating acceleration. But it is only correct on paper and in practice the numbers are very different. With a little research on the internet, I found out that this sensor considers the rate of rotation around the y-axis as the acceleration factor on the x-axis, which I do not know if this is correct or not. A little later, I realized that if the speed of the bicycle or car is constant, the acceleration is zero and as a result, if we ride a bicycle at a speed of 20 km per hour, our speedometer will display the number zero. So, as stated in various forums, there is no way to get speed through this sensor. Actually, I was thinking of using a multiplexer to run the two modules that require an I2C interface, but apparently we have to go back to the analog method. Don't worry, I will test both methods for you, but before continuing, please pay attention to the video sponsor. This video is sponsored by PCBWay a leading company in the production of various types of PCBs, including Flex and the Rigid Flex PCBs, and even UV printing technology. They also offer CNC machining, 3D printing, sheet metal fabrication, and injection molding services. Like in previous years, they are holding Christmas and New Year events, which is a big sale with 50% off. By participating in these events, you can get a chance to win exclusive coupons free prototypes worth up to $20, and colorful Santa-themed PCBs. Don't miss this opportunity. Check out this event now for more information. The link is in the description section below the video. Okay, let's get back to the project. In this circuit, we first read the gyroscope values with a multiplexer's help and then insert an old display into the circuit to display the values. This gauge was designed by a YouTuber and I will share that video with you as well. Well, as you can see, it works exactly as per the diagram I showed a while ago. Well, as I said, these numbers are wrong. It is better to use DC motors as before so that the speed can be displayed on the screen by measuring its voltage. It's better now, but do you think it is possible to make another project with this? Yes, you can make a voltmeter. This voltmeter should be able to measure from 0 to 140 volts. But you need a voltage divider circuit which has to be very precise so that if you connect it to 140, it will give you 5 volts. I designed this voltage divider and will share it with you. Just check the description. Now I connect the voltage of 12 volts. You can see that it is working correctly. So, instead of a custom speedometer, I choose making digital voltmeter with graphic LCD as the title of this video. Thank you for being with me so far. Please like the video and hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed yet. Thanks for watching.